Remember all that hype about AI writing everything? Well, buckle up because things are changing. And we're diving deep into an article called The GPT Era is Already Ending to figure out just what those changes mean. It's got some wild ideas, by the way. You'll be dropping AI knowledge bombs at your next party after this. It really shakes things up. It does. <laughs> so let's go back a bit. Everyone remembers GPT models like ChatGPT, right? Writing poems, code, even sounding like a real person. It was all over the news. It was. But this article says GPT was more about mimicking than actually understanding, like they said in the article. A dog barking Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, impressive. But the dog doesn't get it. Exactly. So GPT was basically a really good autocomplete, predicting the next word without getting the meaning. You got it. They fed it tons of data to make those predictions, but then it hit a wall. The article calls it the big language model wall. Throwing more data at the problem didn't make it that much better. So what happens when the hype dies down and those limits become clear? Does everyone just give up on AI? Not so fast. This is where OpenAI, the folks behind ChatGPT, did something interesting. They switched gears and built a new model called O1. And this one isn't about prediction. It's all about reasoning. Okay, reasoning AI. Now that sounds cool. Mm -hmm. What's different about how O1 works compared to those GPT models? Imagine a rat in a maze. It runs into walls, makes wrong turns, but it eventually learns how to get the cheese. Through trial and error. Right. That's basically O1. It's less about copying patterns and data and more about actually working through a problem, learning from its mistakes and finding better solutions. So GPT was like a parrot mimicking sounds, and O1 is like that maze-solving rat. Bingo. And that shift to reasoning has had some really cool results. The article talks about how good O1 is at stuff that needs real thinking, like coding, solving tough math problems, even logic puzzles. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. So is O1 like the perfect AI then? Can it do anything? Not quite. It's great at logic, but it struggles with things that are subjective or creative, like poetry or expressing emotions. The article even jokes that there's no existential dread for this AI. So even AI has its strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Makes sense. But this change from GPT to O1 seems like a big deal. Was OpenAI just following trends or was there something more to it? That's where things get interesting. OpenAI has been really quiet about O1. It's like Steve Jobs with the first iPhone. They're keeping it under wraps. The article says this move to reasoning AI isn't just about tech, it's a power move. Ooh, a little AI drama. So it's not just about making better AI. OpenAI wants to stay ahead of the competition. You know, it, remember there are other companies working on AI, Google, and Tropic, and they're all pouring money into it. The article kind of implies that OpenAI is going all in on O1, hoping to stay in first place by being the first to really use this new kind of AI. Like they're holding the best cards in a poker game. Yeah. And everyone else is trying to figure out what they have. Exactly. And with this shift to reasoning AI, the stakes are higher than ever. So we've got OpenAI keeping their cards close with O1, and their rivals are right behind them. What does this all mean for the future of AI? Are we talking about something big here? That's the question, isn't it? And the article gets philosophical. It asks if this new approach is just a better imitation of intelligence or if it's getting us closer to the real thing. Whoa, now things are getting deep. So is O1 just a fancy mimic? Or is there something more going on? Well, the article does point out one criticism. Some people say that OpenAI is focusing more on what AI can do than on whether it really understands what it's doing. They're building AI that can ace tasks, but not necessarily trying to understand things like consciousness or sentience. So O1 is more about getting things done than actually getting what it's doing. That's the argument, and it brings up a lot of philosophical questions that we'll need to deal with as AI keeps evolving. Well, consider me intrigued. So we've got the rise and fall of GPT, the appearance of this maze rat, AI, and some big philosophical questions bubbling up. What's the main takeaway here? What does this mean for people outside the tech world? It means that how we interact with AI is changing, and that affects way more than just code. It could change how we work how we solve problems, even how we understand intelligence itself. Wow, that puts things in perspective. So what's next? Where do we go from here? The article says this isn't just about open AI. Other big companies are putting their money on reasoning AI. We might be entering a time where AI isn't just a tool. It's a partner helping us solve tough problems. A partner in problem solving. That's exciting and a little scary. Not sure I'm ready to share my to-do list with a robot just yet. <laughs> I get it. It's a lot to dig in. But that's what makes this shift in AI so fascinating. It's not just about code. It's about changing our relationship with technology and exploring what's possible. It's fascinating to think about how this shift from mimicking to reasoning could completely change how we approach problem solving across so many fields. Absolutely. It feels like we're on the verge of something huge. 
Yeah. But before we get too carried away with all the potential, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. The article mentioned OpenAI being super secretive about this new O1 model. Why all the hush hush? We have to remember that the AI world is incredibly competitive right now. Mm. Google Anthropic. Uh -huh. Everyone's racing to develop the next big breakthrough. So it's like a high stakes game of technological chess. Exactly. And OpenAI seems to be playing their strategy very carefully. Their secrecy around O1 suggests they see it as a major advantage. Something that could solidify their position as a leader in the field. It makes you wonder what they're working on behind closed doors, doesn't it? It does. The article speculates that they might be focusing on refining O1's abilities in specific areas, maybe even testing it out on real-world problems to see just how powerful this reasoning approach can be. Okay, so we've got OpenAI with their secret weapon O1 while their competitors are trying to catch up. But let's zoom out for a second. What does all of this mean for the average person? How might this shift in AI actually change our lives? That's a question worth pondering. If AI can truly become this collaborative problem solver, it could have a profound impact on so many aspects of our lives. Think about healthcare. Imagine AI assisting doctors in making faster, more accurate diagnoses, leading to more effective treatments. That would be incredible. And what about other fields? We'll take engineering, for example. AI could help design more efficient and sustainable infrastructure, leading to smarter cities and a reduced environmental impact. Those are some pretty exciting possibilities. It sounds like reasoning AI could be a game changer in a lot of ways. Absolutely. And we're only scratching the surface here. The potential applications are vast. Imagine AI helping educators tailor learning experiences to each student's unique needs, or assisting researchers in making breakthroughs in fields like medicine and renewable energy. It's almost hard to wrap your mind around all the potential. It feels like those early days of the internet Nobody could have predicted how much it would change the world. That's a great comparison. Just like the internet, AI has the power to be incredibly transformative. And just like with the internet, we need to be mindful of the potential downsides as we move forward. Right. It's not all sunshine and roses. There are bound to be challenges and risks we'll need to address along the way. Absolutely. As AI becomes more integrated into our lives, we'll need to have open and honest conversations about the ethical implications, ensuring that this technology is developed and used responsibly. You're right. It's crucial to remember that AI is a tool. And like any tool, it can be used for good or bad, depending on the intentions of those who control it. Exactly. And that's why discussions like this are so important. We need to be talking about the potential risks and benefits of AI and how we can work together to shape a future where this technology benefits all of humanity. Okay, so we've got this incredible potential for positive change, but also some important ethical considerations to keep in mind as we move forward. Any other key takeaways you think are important for our listeners? One thing I want to emphasize is that AI is a constantly evolving field. What we know about AI today might be completely different tomorrow. Like embrace the unknown. Exactly. Stay curious, stay informed, and be prepared for the unexpected. The future of AI is not predetermined. It's something we're all shaping together. We're back for the final part of our deep dive exploring this big shift in the AI world, from GPT to something completely new. It's a lot to wrap your head around, but it's pretty exciting stuff. Definitely exciting. It is. So to make sure everyone's on the same page, let's recap those key differences between the old GPT models and this new reasoning AI. We were talking about some interesting animal analogies earlier. Right, the parrot and the maze rat. Exactly. Can you remind everyone what those were all about? Sure. So GPT is like that stochastic parrot. It's amazing at mimicking human language, but it doesn't really understand the meaning behind the words. It's all about prediction. Right. Not comprehension. Right. It's based on probability and randomness. So it can string words together in a way that sounds impressive, but it's not actually thinking for itself. Okay. Got it. So GPT is the parrot mimicking without understanding. What about the maze rat? That was the analogy for reasoning AI, right? Exactly. Reasoning AI is like that rat navigating a maze. It bumps into walls, takes wrong turns, but it's actively learning and problem solving, figuring things out through trial and error. So it's not just about following patterns, it's about actually understanding the problem and finding solutions. Exactly. And that's what makes this shift so significant. It's not just about AI writing code anymore, it's about AI debugging code. Coming up with creative solutions to complex problems, helping scientists make breakthroughs in medicine or renewable energy. Wow. The possibilities seem endless. Yeah. It's almost like those early days of the internet when no one could predict how much it would change everything. It is a similar feeling, isn't it? The sense of being on the cusp of something truly transformative. But just like with the internet, there will be challenges along the way. Right, of course. 
Every major technological advancement comes with its own set of challenges. We need to be thinking about the ethical implications, the potential risks, as well as the benefits. We touched on those ethical considerations earlier, but it's worth repeating how important those conversations are. As AI gets more powerful, we need to make sure it's used for good. Absolutely. We need to be asking those tough questions about how AI will impact society, the economy, our lives in general. It's a lot to consider, but it's also incredibly exciting to be living in a time when we get to be part of this technological revolution. I agree. It's a fascinating time to be alive, and the future of AI is still being written. It's up to all of us to shape that future. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this deep dive. But before we go, I want to leave our listeners with one final question to ponder. If AI can solve problems, what are the biggest problems you want it to tackle? Think about it. What are the challenges facing humanity that you would like to see AI help us overcome? And remember, this is just the beginning of the conversation. The world of AI is constantly evolving. So keep exploring, stay curious, and keep those minds open. Thanks for joining us.